air pollution, plastic waste, and CO2 are casting dark shadows over our planet. In this crisis, bamboo in China has emerged as a key player in the green revolution. From endless forests, its humble stalks move straight into high-tech factories, where lasers, robots, and automated lines turn them into materials of the future. No longer just a cultural symbol, bamboo now underpins a wide range of eco-friendly products. Straws, toothbrushes, charcoal, even sustainable building materials. Each year, millions of items roll off the line, driving huge profits and cementing China's lead in the global race for ecological industry. But how did such a simple plant transform into the technology of the 21st century? To answer that question, let's look at the numbers. Each year, the world produces more than 300 million tons of plastic waste, and China is among the countries under the heaviest pressure from pollution. That's why bamboo is seen as a trump card in its sustainable industry strategy. Today, the country has over 6 million hectares of bamboo forests, with billions of stalks mainly spread across the south the largest scale on the planet. More than just a renewable resource, bamboo also brings massive economic value. The bamboo products industry alone generates over 3 billion US dollars in exports every year. From a fast-growing plant that once seemed ordinary and familiar, bamboo has been elevated into a green economy, helping reduce the burden of plastic waste while also strengthening China's global position in blending nature with technology. But before becoming a symbol of the green industry, bamboo was once tied to a darker past. During World War II, many accounts from prisoners of war and surviving soldiers mentioned that bamboo was used as a tool for extracting information in wartime, turning it into a symbol that was both powerful and haunting. Although the details remain disputed, and official evidence is limited, this story exposes the darker side of a plant long seen as a symbol of life. Do you think this is the truth, or just an exaggeration of history? Either way, bamboo has now stepped into a completely different journey in the modern era. Today. Bamboo has become the first link in the chain of sustainable technology. In the southern forests of China, the roar of power saws has replaced the swing of hand axes from the past. Workers operate modern equipment, bringing down towering bamboo stalks, some reaching 15 to 20 meters tall, in just seconds. The glossy outer skin, shining under the hot sun, signals that the bamboo has reached its ideal balance of strength and flexibility, ready to enter the production line. Each cut sends a stalk falling neatly to the ground. Immediately, workers trim off the base and nodes to prevent water from collecting. A small step, but one that ensures the new shoots can regrow. With the help of chainsaws, one worker can cut down up to 150 stalks an hour far outpacing manual labor while maintaining precision. Sounds impressive, but if someone offered you $50, would you try a day of bamboo harvesting with a power saw? For the workers here, it's not a challenge, but a daily routine. The harvested stalks are bundled into large loads, turning the whole forest into an open-air assembly line, where humans and machines work in harmony. For bamboo, harvesting is not the end, but a crucial link in a closed loop, where the green forest fuels the factory. From the forest, bundles of bamboo continue their new journey. In the past, workers had to drag each heavy stalk by hand, but today, machinery has replaced much of that labor. In rugged terrain, Pack horses remain a classic yet effective solution, keeping the pace of harvesting steady. Once at the collection point, the bamboo is loaded onto heavy trucks, 
ready to leave the forest and enter the world of technology. At this stage, each stalk is drilled with small holes to better absorb water, then soaked in cool streams to wash away dirt and impurities. Afterward, they are carefully scrubbed to remove sticky resin and bacteria before being dried under intense sunlight to lower moisture and prevent termites. These steps, which may appear simple, are actually the key to ensuring durability and extending the lifespan of bamboo when used in industrial production. When the stalks meet the required standard, they are transported to factories, where automated cutting systems can handle up to 300 stalks per hour, creating uniform sections far more precise than manual methods. Each surface is polished until smooth, revealing the natural bamboo grain fully prepared for its transformation into green technology products of the new century. In modern construction, bamboo has gone far beyond its image as a humble plant. Mature stalks, once harvested, undergo strict treatment to remove impurities, sticky resin, and to stabilize their moisture content. This crucial step allows bamboo to resist termites extend its lifespan, and withstand the harsh conditions of building environments. Next, the bamboo is fed into massive hydraulic presses. With a compressive force reaching 500 tons per hour, the weight of an entire train, bamboo strips are pressed tightly together into solid uniform boards. Under this immense pressure, bamboo is reborn as a new material, one that preserves its natural grain while gaining exceptional mechanical strength, strong enough to replace many rare hardwoods in construction. The rough boards then move on to automated cutting lines. Industrial blades slice with millimeter precision, tailoring each piece to the exact dimensions required by architectural designs. The edges are carefully smoothed, while surfaces are refined to eliminate any roughness, ensuring both visual appeal and flawless fitting. Thanks to this meticulous processing, bamboo boards are not only beautiful, but also durable, capable of withstanding weather, heavy loads, and daily wear. Finally, the finished boards are packaged and carefully stored, ready to leave the factory and become the foundation of green buildings. From the forest to the city, bamboo completes its natural cycle only to be reborn as a sustainable symbol for humanity bridging tradition and innovation, and proving that nature itself can provide the materials for a resilient future. But bamboo's journey does not end with construction. In another form, it passes through fire to become bamboo charcoal, a clean, sustainable biofuel that could replace part of coal and firewood. The process begins with pre-treated bamboo tubes placed into kilns that hold 200-300 pieces per batch. Stalks are stacked vertically, leaving gaps for heat to flow evenly, crucial for quality. Once filled, workers seal the kiln mouth with stone and cement, leaving only a few small vents for gas release. The kiln then turns into a closed reaction chamber, where temperature and pressure are tightly controlled. Fires are lit, and heat is maintained between 600 and to 700 degrees for five to seven days. This range allows cellulose and lignin to break down, leaving behind solid carbon cores, the heart of bamboo charcoal. When the kiln opens, glossy black charcoal appears, smooth, solid, and evenly colored, a clear mark of perfect carbonization. Each kiln typically yields two to three tons, enough to supply thousands of homes with energy. Once cooled, the charcoal is either ground into smaller pieces or kept in blocks, depending on use. Packaging is handled with care. Recycled craft paper bags or biodegradable materials ensure both strength and eco-friendliness. Smaller 250 into 300 gram packs serve households, while larger sacks are distributed to the food and energy industries. Beyond fuel, bamboo charcoal is also used in water purification, 
deodorizing, cosmetics, and medicine. With its natural absorption and antibacterial traits, it has become a versatile material of the modern era. If bamboo charcoal shows the strength of fire, bamboo takes another path when it stays slender and transforms into a green, simple, and practical product. The bamboo straw. Made from young bamboo two to three years old, strong yet naturally slim, these stalks are carefully chosen, cut into even pieces, and cleared through old nodes to form smooth, hollow tubes, the base of every straw. From the forest, the small bamboo segments are taken to workshops, neatly arranged in trays, and dried at 70-80 degrees C's. This process increases durability while preserving their natural golden hue, giving each straw a rustic yet refined look. Once dry, every piece is polished inside and out, removing rough spots and leaving a smooth, glossy surface. Both ends are carefully finished to bring comfort when touching the lips. Next, the straws are washed with sterilized water to eliminate all impurities. After drying at 25 degrees, they are strictly sorted to ensure each one meets quality standards. Some are even engraved with logos by laser, adding a sharp, branded touch. Finally, the straws are packed in sturdy, eco-friendly cartons. Each box not only protects the product, but also reinforces the green commitment from the bamboo forest to the consumer's hand. Small but sustainable, bamboo straws are ready to replace single-use plastic. Would you pay $1 for a reusable bamboo straw instead of just a few cents for a disposable plastic one? While bamboo straws bring the breath of nature into every drink, bamboo spoons turn each meal into a friendly and refined experience. Unlike traditional handmade products, Today's bamboo spoons are crafted entirely with modern machinery. From shaping and surface treatment to sterilization and drying, every step is automated to ensure high quality, safety, and eco-friendliness. Each detail is carefully controlled, giving the spoon a solid feel, smooth texture, and practical comfort in daily use. Even a simple plate of pasta enjoyed with a bamboo fork becomes a different experience, blending function, beauty, and sustainability. Once finished, bamboo spoons and forks move to the packaging stage. In some factories, workers still wrap each piece by hand for safety, while more advanced facilities use smart sensor robots to automatically pack them into small paper bags, both protective and convenient for transport. These bags are then neatly arranged into cartons, creating complete shipments ready for consumers. Thanks to the combination of modern manufacturing and the sustainable nature of bamboo, the bamboo spoon is more than just a dining utensil. It is proof of bamboo's endless ability to regenerate and serve people in many aspects of life. Not limited to everyday products, Bamboo salt begins a very different journey, where bamboo, earth, and fire come together to create a truly unique seasoning. The process starts with fresh bamboo stalks about three years old. Workers cut them into sections, fill each hollow tube with natural sea salt, then seal both ends with yellow clay. This clay coat not only protects the salt inside, but also acts like a shield against impurities, keeping its purity intact for what is to come. When the massive clay furnace is fired up, the bamboo tubes are neatly stacked inside. The temperature rises to 800 and 1000 degrees, causing the bamboo to burn away and the clay to crack, leaving behind a darkened block of salt already infused with minerals from the bamboo and the clay. Once the furnace cools, this hardened salt mass is taken out, broken into smaller pieces, and ground fine. But this is only the beginning of a long cycle. The salt is again packed into bamboo, sealed with clay, and fired once more. Each repetition is like another trial by fire. 
helping the salt shed more impurities while absorbing greater amounts of valuable minerals such as calcium, potassium, and iron. When the journey through fire is complete, the glossy black salt block is allowed to cool fully. Workers break it apart with hammers, then grind it into small, uniform, and pure crystals. In every grain lies not just the briny taste of the sea, but also the minerals of bamboo and earth, delivering a fuller flavor and notable health benefits. Behind bamboo's rustic look lies a sophisticated technological journey. From selection, cutting, drying, and polishing to being crafted into straws, spoons, toothbrushes, or biochar, every step is strictly controlled, combining human skill with modern machinery. China has turned this resource into a green production system, delivering millions of eco-friendly products every year. But can bamboo continue to meet global demand while staying sustainable? Share your thoughts. And if you want to uncover more secrets about material crafting and regeneration, don't forget to follow, subscribe, and hit the bell so you won't miss the next story.